colleagues, friends and fellow Burnsians. My name is Andy Anderson, I work in the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service and it is indeed my great pleasure to deliver a poem for you on behalf of the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service Burns Club. You enjoy it. When chill November's surly blast made fields and forests bare, one evening as I wandered forth along the banks of air, I spied a man whose aged step seemed weary, worn with care. His face furrowed o'er with years, and hoary was his hair. Young stranger, whither wanderest thou? began the reverend sage. Does thirst of wealth thy step constrain, or youthful pleasures rage? Or haply pressed with cares and woes, too soon thou hast begun to wander forth with me to mourn the miseries of man? The sun that overhangs yon moors, outspreading far and wide, where hundreds labour to support a hochty lordling's pride. I've seen yon weary winter sun twice forty times return, and every time has added proofs that man was made to mourn. O man, while in thy early years, how prodigal of time, misspending all thy precious hours, thy glorious youthful prime. Alternate follies take the sway, licentious passions burn, which tenfold force gives nature's law that man was made to mourn. Look not alone on youthful prime or manhood's active might. Man then is useful to his kind, supported in his right. But see him on the edge of life with cares and sorrows worn, then age and want. O ill-matched pair, show man was made to mourn. A few seem favourites of fate, in pleasure's lap caressed. Yet think not all the rich and great are likewise truly blessed. But, O oh, what crowds in every land, O oh, wretched and forlorn, through weary life this lesson learn, that man was made to mourn. Many and sharp their numerous ills, inwoven with our frame. More pointed still we make ourselves, regret, remorse and shame. And man whose heaven erected face, the smiles of love adorn. Man's inhumanity to man makes countless thousands mourn. See yonder poor or laboured wicht, so abject, mean and vile, who begs a brother of the earth? to give him leave to toil, and see his lordly fellow worm the poor petition spurn, unmindful though a weeping wife and helpless offspring mourn. If I'm designed yon lordling slave, by nature's law designed, why was an independent wish e'er planted in my mind? If not, why am I subject to his cruelty or scorn? Or why has man the will and power to make his fellow mourn? Yet let not this too much, my son, disturb thy youthful breast. This partial view of humankind is surely not the last. The poor, oppressed, honest man had never sure been born, had there not been some recompense to comfort those that mourn. O oh, death! the poor man's dearest friend, the kindest and the best. Welcome the hour, my aged limbs are laid with thee at rest. The great, the wealthy, fear thy blow from pomp and pleasure torn. But, O oh, a blessed relief for those that weary laden mourn. Thank you. <laughs>